Hi Gemini, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at March 21st through March 27 and the Sun is joined by your ruler this week Mercury, the planet of communication and clear thinking where it stays for the next couple of weeks. Now the Sun and Mercury are both placed in your 11th house of hopes, dreams, wishes and friendship and this is always a nice place for it to be. It means that you will be very open with your feelings, with your friends. If you want to hang out with them, that is something that you'll let them know. It's a good time for you to be surrounded by the people that you love. And then there is a lunar eclipse midweek in Libra, which is your fellow air sign and your fifth house of romance, creativity, and self-fulfillment. So for those of you who are in a relationship and who know that something's got to give, shall we say, that know that there has to be some changes made in that relationship, the lunar eclipse will really shed a very bright light on that part of your life, your relationships, your romantic life. A lot of couples of my clients come to me and say, especially the women, that the romance has gone out of the relationship, that they feel that their guy no longer sees them and that he isn't attracted to them anymore. Now, they've, some of them have been together for like 25 years, some have been together for five years, but the story is pretty much the same. Women want to feel desired and attractive and sexual. Men get very used to looking at the same woman over and over again. And men want to look at other women who are desirable and sexy. It doesn't mean that they want to cheat, but it doesn't mean that they're necessarily falling over themselves to rush home to have sex with their partner because, you know, the flame has been turned down somewhat. So I think it's really important that you understand the basics of how men think and women think, you know, men are from Mars, women are from Venus, and let this lunar eclipse in your romance zone bring to light those things that you feel are lacking in your sexual relationship. You might have just started dating someone. You may be, you know, thinking about taking it a step further. You may be married, whatever your situation is. And if you're single, really thinking about the sort of person you want to have in your life and really thinking about how to make things as perfect as they can be, which of course is a, you know, a strange statement to make when you're talking about relationships to begin with. So Geminis, there's a lot happening this week and I want you to have a fabulous week and Librans and Aries are both excellent matches for you in every which way. And I'll speak to you again next week.